Hey, thank you for that fantastic intro. Hello, everyone. Darren Basinger here, and welcome to Website Design that Converts Visitors into Cash. I'm really excited to share this information with you today because I think after seeing it, you're never going to look at web page design the same way again. At least that's my goal for you. All right. Um, but before we get we begin, I want to get a couple of things um, out here. And the first is you may hear dogs bark, horses neigh, lambs bleat, who knows what else. And that is because I live on a farm. <laughs> Thanks to Convertry, actually. Um, I was able to escape the corporate world and um, I work from home and uh, I've been able to uh, to create a farm in a very remote location uh, with my wife. We've got sheep, we've got pigs, we've got livestock guardian dogs, chickens, horses, and um, just had some new lambs born and going to have some piggies born in in uh, later on in the spring here. So um, <laughs> just wanted to let you know that up front. And it's, you know, it's something maybe you didn't know about me uh, too. Um, and and then because of that remote location that I live in, I don't have any high speed internet, so I had to record this session. But don't worry because I'm still going to be here with you. Oh, kind of weird, huh? But this Air Meet platform is so cool that uh, I'm I'm supposed to be able to be here with you as long as I have the bandwidth to answer all of your questions. So ask away, and even if I am not able to answer them directly during this session. Uh, I'm going to be able to look at them and I will get back to you. Um, and we have a final Q&A on the third day as well. So um, I don't want any question to go unanswered. So fire away, okay? And then lastly, and this is really important, be sure to stick around until the end because I'm, I want to give you guys some cool stuff related to today's session. Um, and I want to, I'll tell you how to get it. Um, it's free. Okay. And then, um, you're probably wondering a little bit about this presentation format that I'm using it. I'm going to be presenting all of my information today, uh, using this template design that I actually created inside of Convertry. Imagine that, um, literally, if you can imagine it, you can probably build it in Convertry. So that's what I did here. So on this menu on the left-hand side, um, you're not going to just get this funnelizer design um, concept and cheat sheet. I, I'm actually going to turn this thing into a full-blown case study. I'm going to pull back the curtain and let you see the whole thing from uh, you know soup to nuts on this thing, all right, um, which is pretty cool. Um, because it's one thing that there isn't a lot of in Convertry's knowledge base library. They have a lot of really cool stuff um, related to the technical aspects. Um, so hopefully, um, my understanding is some of this training may end up in the knowledge base library, and, and that'll be cool. I wish I had it when I got started a couple of years ago. So you, you'll be able to benefit that way as well. So anyhow, back to this menu on the left-hand side. We're in the welcome portion. We'll move through the training or the training objective for today, and then I'll give you an overview on on this client project that we're using as the case study today um, for the funnelizer design. And then we'll dig deep into the design. Um, I'll, I'll show you the site, and and then actually um, I developed a cheat sheet so you you'll understand every single. Uh, portion of the design and and how it works and why I added the different design elements where I did. Um, there's a lot of psychological triggers that come into play here um, and from a sales standpoint. Okay, and then you know who gives a rip about all that if if we don't have some serious results? And that's where I'm. I'll, I'll pull back the curtain again and show you the results. Um, that we received and and continue to receive in the tune of thirty seven thousand dollars a month on average in sales from this uh, this website, and then we'll go through th some next steps, and that's where I'll give you information on 
um, the rest of the training sessions that I have, and also how to get some freebies associated with today's training session. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and um, swing back up here. And just say, you know, today I'm going to show you the design process I used to create a six figure convert to your website for a client. You know, I just referenced the $37,000 a month in revenue. And, and I call this hack funnelizing a website. Um, and here, the cool thing is, is you can use all or part of this technique for just about every design approach that you can run into. Okay. So with that, let's get into today's objective. All right, it's real simple, real straightforward. I wanna provide you with a, with a proven design approach that increases visitor engagement, time on site, and improves sales conversions, all right? Not to mention Google loves it as well, right? Um, so don't be surprised if you uh, see your your ranking uh, increase from an SEO standpoint as a result of this. Can't guarantee that, but um, don't be surprised, uh, especially if you're doing all of the other SEO stuff correctly as well. Okay, um, so that's that's it. Now let's go into uh, into the overview and. Here's here's a little bit about a client that I'm sharing with you today. All right, his name's Dave. He is uh, a commercial fisherman of, in Alaska, Bristol Bay. Uh, he's been a commercial fisherman for 35 years, um, but for the last uh, 13 years now, he's been operating a remote fly-in salmon fishing camp. All right, and it's it's a really incredible place. All right. Um, anyhow, he had a website and he had never gotten a lead or made a sale with his old site. Unfortunately, I don't have any images of, of it for you, but let me just paint this picture. It was one of those do it yourself sites. He's not a techie guy. Guess what? It looked like garbage. Okay. So no wonder it didn't perform for him. All right. So with Dave, we also have some, I had some challenges to consider and I'm sharing these because they're, they're important. All right. One is Dave didn't believe that the web, the, the new website was really going to make a difference. And, um, you know, in the next section in the design, uh, section, I'll go over the goals for this project with you, but let's just say he didn't think that we were going to meet any of them. He kind of, he laughed, right? It's like, yeah, prove it. Um, and then the second big challenge was guests pay $3,400 each for a trip to, uh, to go to his camp. And so if we're going to be selling these online, right, um, there's got to be a compelling uh, argument put together for these people to, uh, to flop over $3,400. Uh, to somebody that they'd never met before. Um, and that's the other thing that I want to point out here is all of the revenue that's been generated from this site and that continues to be generated from this site, they're brand new customers that have never uh, visited Besheroff Rapids Camp before. They don't know Dave. Um, and so that's that just makes this whole thing pretty, uh, pretty unique. Um, you know, it's not unheard of, right? I'm sure there's other people out there who have been able to pull something like this off, but it's not the norm, okay? Um, that's part of what makes this so special. All right, so moving along, we'll jump into design now. This is where things really start to get fun, okay? And uh, so this this is the this is the website, and we're I'm going to jump out of out of the presentation here in a minute and go through this in greater detail with you. All right. Um, so before you start any design, you got you got to have some goals, and um, that comes through discussion with your client. All right. And so I asked Dave. I said, "What are your five year goals? Ideally, where where do you want to be in five years?" And he said, "Well, I would love to be booked out two to three years in advance." 
I would love to not have to rely on outdoor shows for new clients. And for those of you that don't understand this industry, uh, these guys primarily get new clients by traveling around several months a year around the country, Canada and the U.S., going to outdoor shows and signing up new clients. And uh, it's expensive and very time consuming. And he was getting burnt out on having to do it for the last 12 years. All right. And then the third bullet here is he wanted to be able to raise his prices. Um, but he, he knew that he might lose some existing clients, some repeat customers. And, you know, you never know about new customers. Um, so he was hesitant to do that until he felt like he really had a solid um, base, you know, uh, of cus customers that were already signed up. Hence that book out two to three years in, in advance. OK, so I'll, I'll jump out of here and we'll go through. I'll show you the website. Um, and like I said, I had to build this site so that it, it performed the, the, the homepage really performs like a, a sales funnel page, right? But it's a website because it's got, it's got these other pages, right? Um, and so how I designed this thing is these other four pages about contact resources and gallery, those things all support this home page. Um, and in fact, I think we could we could get rid of all four of those pages and this this home page would, would it's the workhorse and it would continue to sell um, his his business for him. All right. But, um, you know, he he wanted to have these other pages. And so I included them. And the ones that we're going to look at outside of the home pages, we'll look at the about page and the resources page. Um, because there's some cool things going on in there that I think are important for you to understand as part of this technique as well. Okay. So I'm, I'm real quickly, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go through this, um, because I want to jump into it in greater detail. I actually took some screenshots and, um, and did some write-ups on it so that I can go through this and really explain. But, um, that's a static image, and I wanted you to see the dynamics of this uh, and how it actually works. All right, we've got these really powerful transitions with a lot of psychological triggers going on, high authority piece centered in between these power transitions, um, tons of authority, tons of immersion. And when I say, when I talk about immersion, I'm talking about images, um, I'm talking about story, and I'm talking about video. All right. There's over 30 minutes of video on this home page. All right. And and this is this is a, a really powerful story here. And that came through an interview. I interviewed Dave because I was like, OK, I've got to capture this story and really put it into um, a succinct uh, kind of a day in the life sort of thing that's going to get people really excited um, about this this adventure. Um, and so that's that's what this section is all about. Got to have testimonials, right? So I put together a really great testimonial video for them. We've got the FAQ section, um, another powerful transition that I'll, I'll get into what's going on here, um, a recap of the trip. And then, you know, it all ends with a pledge, promise, a guarantee. Uh, I don't care what business you're in. Dave can't offer a guarantee. You can't guarantee somebody's going to catch a fish, just like you can't guarantee somebody's going to catch a cold, right? But you can offer a pledge, and, and that's pretty powerful. And it's right there where it needs to be at the end of this after you've told them how much it's going to cost, okay? So that's that's the overview of the design. Now, let's let's jump into the cheat sheet here, okay? Don't worry, I'll explain what all these little acronyms mean so you understand, all right? And so this the homepage begins with a call to action, almost sold out with scarcity built in, right? And see trip. We're not we're not telling them, you know, 
ordering them around. To, you know, you, you better order now, better book your trip now. We're just saying, hey, see the trip, right? And so this isn't super pushy, super salesy, but man, there's a lot, there's a lot of psychological stuff going on here, right? Okay, so scarcity, call to action. And then over here in the top right hand corner, A1, that stands for um, authority, authority association. And this is the first first one on the page. And that's for Sportsman's News. Um, anybody in Northwestern United States, Canada, Alaska, um, they've heard of these guys. And, and, um, and so it carries some authority weight, right? Okay. So I wanted to have that in, in the image here. And, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to appear in a couple more places down below. So it, it's, it's not prominent, really. It's just kind of hanging out there in the peripheral. But the, your mind and your brain, your eyes are picking it up, okay? Again, a lot of psychological triggers going on here, all right? So then here's, here's the big, bold, you know, six day, five nights in salmon fishing nirvana, all right? We're getting into this big bold statement bold promise right and um you know each year again with scarcity built into it only 114 people in the world get to participate in this remote all-inclusive fly fishing adventure of a lifetime where the pristine water teams with hundreds of thousands of wild native silver and sockeye salmon that's not bs man um this place is legendary um <laughs> and but it's bold, right? If you hadn't been there before, you'd be thinking, yeah, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I immediately follow that bold statement and I get Dave, the owner operator involved in this, because in order for people to, to push this, the call to action button and sign up with him, you got to get trust and, and rapport built fast. So that's why I brought him in right out of the gate. Um, with another complimentary statement here, okay? And then again, another call to action. Reserve your spot now. Check dates. It doesn't say plunk down your money. It says check dates, all right? Again, Sportsman Review, another authority association, right? And it says right here that they were featured on the, the news television show as Southwest Alaska's ultimate flying salmon fishing destination. So we're going to we're going to build some more trust and rapport with this because as soon as you click on this this uh video button um let's see as, as soon as you click on that um what 3 seconds into the video up pops Dave, all right? So uh, again, I and and what I did is I actually I I edited edited this video out so it actually did what I wanted it to do in relationship to the uh, the homepage in in supporting the flow of everything here. Okay, um, so I call this video, you know, and and the the text images, the sliders that are in here immersion points okay because it's an opportunity for people to really immerse themselves in uh in the adventure in the information and this video is three minutes and 50 seconds long all right and then immediately under the video is is a camp summary right and all this information is included in the video right but that people might not catch it. They might not watch the whole video. Some people need to see this visually rather than hear it. Um, so I, I, I figured I better put that right under this video. It just made sense to do it. Okay. And then we go into what I call a power transition. Okay. Transition one. And I, I, I showed you this um, up here in this page, but let's look at it again. Okay. Some cool things going on here. One is you have these three guys that they look like they're little kids holding up way too many fish that they caught for the day. Um, still within their limit, by the way. <laughs> uh, and what is this? This is actually a wallet. Now, this is a business card. It says, let's do it. And Besheroff Rapids Camp 
is the branding on this. A lot of psychological stuff going on there, okay? I could probably spend five more minutes just talking about that. But, but let's move on um, and get into this uh, into this this portion, which is the highest authority piece on the page. PBS Broadcasting, all right? They actually flew a crew up to Besharoff Rapids Camp and um, and did a, like a mini documentary, 26-minute video, all right? So I embedded that on, on the site as well. So there's this, not, this other huge immersion point for people, right, um, to, to dig in. And this is a really well done video. Um, but I have to, to say that I already had the site up and running and it was working like, um, like gangbusters before I even added this video. Um, this video is just, you know, icing on the cake. All right. And then we've got another powerful transition here. And that is, uh, guys that are heading out to go fishing. Man, they they are getting ready to go out and have a good time. This guy even tips his cap. That's this is a gift that I created um, and slid in here. All right, and then directly under that, more power um, authority by association. Why guides, wildlife managers, and even store owners these these folks could fish. Anywhere they want to in the world, well, why do they choose to come to Besharoff Rapids Camp? Because it has to be one of the ten top the top ten spots in the world to catch hundreds of salmon every day on a fly. And that's no lie. All right. So more authority, more authority. Expect the experience of a lifetime. Um, at this point, you know, somebody who is really into fishing. Uh, or wants to, to go fishing and have an experience of a lifetime, they're starting to become a believer, right? So we give them another immersion point. And this time it's not videos, it's 19 images, all right? I'm not going to go through them, but there's 19 of them there. And then we follow that up with a, another call to action. Let's check the dates, all right? Then, I, you know, I told you I, I interviewed Dave, and very specifically, so that I could create a story, all right? And this is where I plug the story in, all right? After I got them all excited, you know, asking all sorts of questions in their minds about this place, now I walk them through the story, okay? A kind of a day in the life sort of thing. Um, but the way that I write this is I also include um, – answers to questions that I know they're going to have, like, what does all-inclusive mean, okay? And how, how, how long will they actually be able to fish? You, you know, you say we're going to be able to catch all these salmon, but what, how, how many hours a day are we actually going to be able to fish, all right? We go through that. Um, and that they're not going to just be treated well. They're going to be treated like royalty, you know? I mean, the reality is, is most people, they, they go spend – you know, six days with Dave and fish for eight to 10 hours a day. Um, and they gain weight on their trip because they are fed and taken care of so well. All right. And, you know, a lot of people have questions about, well, what about all these fish that you say I'm going to catch? How are they going to be taken care of? They relax. We take care of all your fish. Um, anybody who knows anything about fishing knows the conditions can get kind of crappy sometimes. Uh, especially in Alaska, the weather can be unpredictable. Well, don't worry. There is always a warm and cozy place to go hang out in, all right? And it's a family-friendly place, all right? So about this time, they're going, oh, the visitor's going, oh, okay, this is starting to sound pretty darn good. Then we slap them with another unbelievable statement. An experience so spectacular, some guests leave their gear behind and come back every year. And it's true. They do. Some people have been coming back every year since year one. And they do. They've got a locker there with all their gear in it. All right. Um, so I quickly follow that up with a five-star review video. All right. And I actually coached Dave on how to get this video. So he asked the right questions and he set this thing up right with his guests. And, um, 
you know, we didn't use, we didn't use any professional, professional recording, you know, video cameras or anything like that. I want this to be rough cut, um, but get, get a lot of great footage. And it, and they did, and it's just marvelous. So I, I put all this stuff together into a great five-star video for them. It'll make a believer out of anyone. It's another immersion point, two minutes and 50 seconds. And about this point, then people are going to be saying, yeah, but what if, what if? And that's where we bring the hammer down. <laughs> that's what I say anyways. And that's with the FAQs. Here's where we where we, come, we come in and we say, okay, Dave's been doing this for 12 years, so he knows what questions are, they're going to ask for the most part. And we answer them all right here. But then in real bold font, because we don't want any question left behind, we let them know. Just click here to contact us, and we'll answer your questions. Okay. Then we move into another powerful transition point. Okay. And again, every element on this, this page, and same goes for stuff that you build. Everything has a purpose. Otherwise, get rid of it. If you can't justify it, why it's on your page, then it doesn't belong there, okay? Um, because it all has to support what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And in this case, for this page, I want people to reserve a date um, and commit to going to uh, on a fishing trip. And the cool thing is, is one person uh, may submit the form, but it's... you. You don't fish alone, all right? Just like women don't go to the bathroom alone, well, guys don't go fishing alone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're getting two, a minimum of two people, and in some cases, up to 13 or 14 people will book out an entire week, all right? Um, so it's pretty cool. Anyhow, back to this powerful transition that we're looking at right here. Well, what is it? To me, this said, it's a, it's a guy who came back from his fishing trip at Besheroff Rapids Camp, and he's, he's checked one off the bucket list, okay? So we're, we're, we're segueing to the end of the sales page here, right? Um, and this is, this is where we, we want people's minds to be, that now they're envisioning what it would be like to not only have gone there, but what it's going to feel like to have come back. All right. Then we do, then we follow that transition with a recap of what's included on the trip with us. And it's everything that we've talked about in video, text, images, etc. above, right? And then we finally reveal the price. There it is. $3400 per person, all right? And most people that have shopped around are going to say that's a reasonable price. But still, $3,400 um, isn't chump change. I don't care where you're at in the world. And to, to plop that down, like I said, having never met Dave, um, all you're looking at is, is the information that you have here on this page. Um, it's, a, it's a big deal to, to plunk down $3,400, right? So they, they, at this point, they might be saying, Hmm. I wonder if, you know, is there any guarantees, you know, I mean, huh, I want to do this, right? Um, I want to reserve my date. Well, this is super important. Okay. You slide in a pledge promise or guarantee right under that. Okay. And you know, you can't promise somebody that they're going to catch a cold. You can't promise them they're going to catch a fish either. Okay. But what you can do is you can you can pledge that you you've been doing this long enough that you know how to make sure that they have a good time and in fact your goal is for them to have such a good time right we'll go back in here um, your goal is for them to have such a good time that they go home and tell all their friends about it all right and so this this pledge promise guarantee I call that tying the bow on this whole thing. All right. And this is where you get bold with your call to action. Book now. OK. And then again, on purpose, right underneath, centered up, real close, snugged in tight. 
is is that trust, you know, all that association that we built up front. Sportsman's News, PBS, and then I threw in another one, a magazine that they've been um, been in as well. Okay, so that's that's the that's the homepage. All right, and while we're still on the homepage, I want to show you what the actual form looks like. All right, this isn't crazy. Okay, and I'm going to be doing some testing because um, now I have something that I can dial in. I think I can get I can squeeze even more money out of this site. All right, but it's going to be done through tiny incremental things. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing some split testing and Convertry's added some. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Andrew. Added some really cool analytics, so it's going to be easier for me to 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 be able to see all that stuff inside of of my account. Um, so I'm going to be doing I'm going to do some slight tweaking on this. Um, but this is the form, all right. And if you look at this, they've seen this. They're familiar with the font. They're familiar with the re because I laid all this out in the recap, right? So there's congruency, consistency here, okay? Um, and then again, it's just simply fill in the form below and submit to reserve your desired trip dates. We'll then be in touch to confirm your dates, okay? Okay, well, that sounds, that sounds reasonable, all right? And then before they hit the monster green button down here for submit reservation, in, you know, font size that... <laughs> You know, is normally smaller. I, I, you know, increase the size a little bit here because I wanted them to know it's important that submitting this form doesn't obligate them to purchase. Still, does not obligate them to purchase. All we're doing is we're getting their reservation and making sure that we have the the dates and spots available for them, um, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and collect the deposit. Okay, so that's. That's how the form works, all right? So the other two pages that I said um, that support this home page in particular are, are, are the about pages and the, the resource page, okay? So we'll go back to the cheat sheet, scroll down here. So this is the about page, which is the second most visited page on the site. So again, we've got that call to actions with scarcity built in um, right here at the top. And the about section is a story, okay? Remote and comfortable. You never feel like you're roughing it. Camp life, family type atmosphere, value. You know, we talk, we compare his price to prices of other places in the area. And you know what? I don't care if they go and look at those other sites because I have, and their sites pale in comparison to this one. All right. This is a sales machine website. All right. So I've written this thing out as a story. And there's Dave again. Every chance I can where it's appropriate, I plug him in because it builds trust, builds rapport. Um, they see him all over the place. And um, so that's that's how the about page supports the home page. OK. Then. Um, in terms of the resources page, I'm going to show you that when we uh, when we get into results, which is is coming up next. Okay. Now, now let me know in the box. Give me some whys. Are you guys a little jazzed up about this? Are you a little excited about this uh, about this case study um, and what I'm showing you you here today? Because uh, you know. I'm pretty excited about it. This is this is something that I would I really didn't have a choice on this. I was forced to to create something like this, or or I would not have been able to to meet um, meet those goals, right? Um, and and here's the fact. Here's Dave. He's shocked at the results because he's he's booked out two years in advance. It's never happened before. All right. Well, let's let's look at this a little closer. In 15 months. We met those five-year goals that we set, right? He's booked out two to three years in advance, and that's a combination between the new business and his re repeat customers because he's got a pretty loyal following, right? And then 
he doesn't have to go to the outdoor shows for new business anymore. Well, isn't that grand? Because they've all been canceled due to COVID, right? So this couldn't have happened at the right time, at more of an appropriate time for, for Dave, okay? Um, and so now he feels comfortable raising prices, and he, and he has. He's raised prices, okay? And, and then there's some bonuses that go along with this. Again, I mentioned the, uh, the analytic uh, data that, uh, that Con Convertry um, has nowadays. I skipped by this page a couple of times. Sorry about that. But this is a, this is a year-end report that I put together for my clients. This is Dave's. Um, and yes, this is in, uh, this is in Convertry, done in Convertry as well. And if you come to my session tomorrow, um, I'm I'm going to be uh, training on digital proposals, uh, but I'm I will be uh, going through this if I have enough time. I'll be going through um, the report side as well because this is powerful. Um, Dave Dave's not just a client anymore. He's like you know we're buds. I got fresh smoked king salmon from him for Christmas. Um, whenever he comes through my neck of the woods. Uh, he stops by. We meet. Um, <laughs> all right. When I when I gave him the year end report, um, and I said, "Okay, I've got some recommendations for you," he said, "Whatever you want. You know, you're the boss. I'll write the check." That's important. I'm telling you this. It's not. A, I'm not bragging. It's because it's important. Dave is a captain. For 35 years, he's he's been a captain. Captains don't turn over the wheel to anyone, all right? But I've earned I've earned that trust from him, all right? And it's because of the explosive growth that I've been able to 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 give him uh, via this website you know, for his business. Okay, so back to the analytics, all right? Um, this is so cool, man. Um, now we, you know, he had thirty thousand views last year, all right. And we know we know where those views are coming from in the world. Um, we know, and thanks to Convertry. Yeah, and I know that you know you can you know dial in Google Analytics and all that stuff. And but man, it sure is nice having this data in your dashboard. I mean, if it wasn't um, Neil and Andrew wouldn't have put it in there for us. So use it, okay? And this is how to use it in a report, right? Okay. Um, we know. You know, if we're going to do any paid advertising, we know we're going to want to do it now, right? Um, conversion details, right? This this is for um, <laughs> we discovered. Let's see, lead magnet. All right, um, one of our bonuses here is a lead magnet. We identified it, right? Okay. Well, this lead magnet just for this one month. Had, it's been downloaded 87 times, all right? And last time I checked, in this 15-month period, it's been downloaded a 1,000 times, okay? And I'm going to show you what that is now, okay? We are now in the resources page of Dave's website. That's where I bounced over to, okay? Told you I was going to come back here. And here we are. And here's this instant download, right? And... <laughs> It's a, it's called the essential pack list. All right. And I think I've got it up here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, it's an ebook. I created it in scribble. All right. There is nine pages here. All right. And this thing covers everything they need, uh, to know and to bring with them to get the very most out of their trip with Dave. Okay. And it includes the fly patterns that they need. Um, it, it even includes a video um, of how to tie the flies um, and a direct link to the state of Alaska for them to be able to purchase their Alaska fishing license. OK, big deal. Really, you know, it's it's pretty cool. All right. Well, this thing's been downloaded a thousand times now. So guess what? We're going to we're going to. We're going to change this. It's not going to be a freebie instant download anymore. It'll say instant access, double opt-in, right? Pop open, and it's going to be put in your name and email. Where do we send this to you? Because we're going to start building out his uh, his email list, 
of all the people that, sh that come to this site. And we're not going to let this thing be buried here in the resources page anymore. We're going to bring it out. We're going to put it in the About page and the Home page because those are the other two pages that are most visited on his site. And, um, and we're going to start building an, an email marketing program for him. I talked to him about it originally. For those of you that are going, well, why didn't you do that to begin with? It's because he wasn't too hip on the idea of doing it. You've got to remember, this guy didn't even think the website was that important, okay? Well, now he's going, yeah, 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 let's do that. <laughs> so so that's, where, that's where we're at with that, okay? Um, and so get this. I did some numbers. Every person or every page view um, on Dave's, Dave's site results in $18 in Dave's pocket. Now, wouldn't that be cool if you had a website that, you know, <laughs> now granted, you got to be driving the right traffic to to the site in order for that, you know, to happen. But, um, you know, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty incredible, really. All right. And so what's, what's Dave's return on investment been? Astronomical. Okay. So there's his, his investment, five grand, right? Um, deduct that from five hundred and fifty thousand, gives you five forty-five. So his his return on investment to date has been almost eleven thousand percent. All right, that's pretty darn good, huh? I don't think there's another market that's performing quite that well. So <laughs> so Dave's pretty stoked. All right, so that. That is my run through of this this technique for you guys. Um, I hope that you know por portions of it at the very least are resonating with with you and and you're going to look at at how you design and i I design this, all the images are mine, all the copy is mine, and I'm not saying that to brag because I'm not the greatest copywriter. You don't have to be a super great copywriter um you 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 need to be decent right um but more importantly, you need to understand um the mind and and how you how to put that copy together into a a sales flow um and that's what I did here and and hopefully um that helps you. All right. Now, in, in terms of next steps, all right, um, come to my next two sessions. I've got one tomorrow. Um, it's going to be on digital proposals. It's going to be really cool. And then uh, on Thursday, I will be the last session again, I believe. I'll be ending with the, um, uh, what are we going to be doing? Uh, digital directories. Another really cool thing. Um, that you can build with Convertry. I've pioneered it. Um, I'm going to go through some really cool designs and discussion with you about, about directories and uh, give you some tips on how you can start getting those things uh, in play for yourself as another source of reoccurring monthly revenue. Um, and that's what this business is all about, right? Okay. Um, and then if you want to get some freebies, uh, the cheat sheet that I just showed you, um, and some other good stuff, what you'll want to do is head over to convertrihacks.com. Um, this is um, a cool site that I put together. Um, right under my ugly mug is a link uh, for you to go and look at the uh, the summit offers. I'm going to have um, some free stuff there, and then I'm going to put together some for for people that like what they're seeing um, and they want to fast track the design process. I'll have some cool some cool packages there too before the three days are up. Um, so go there, check that out, and at the very least, while you're there, um, slide down here to the bottom of the page and um, sign up for my funnel club. It's free. Um, and when you sign up for it, what happens is you'll be notified every time I put a new hack on the site, um, a new funnel, a new training. Some training will be free. Other will be, you know, like boot camp style trainings. Um, and then um, I'm firing up a podcast that I'm hopefully going to be taking live 
this month. So there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff going on on this website. Okay, so go there and check it out. That's it for my sales pitch. All right, not much of a sales pitch, is it? But that's not what this is about. I want to give you guys a lot of really cool stuff, um, new tools, new valuable tools to help you make more money. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. If I didn't answer your question, um, I will. And, um, you know, there might even be an opportunity to meet me at one of the tables um, after this session in the lounge. This is Air, Air Meet is such a cool application. I really hope you guys are digging this. Um, I, you know, I am. I'm having a lot of fun, like a kid in a candy store. Anyhow, that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for hanging with me. See you tomorrow.